Hi, I'm Mark Doty. Welcome to the ARP 2600 demonstrative series. It's going to be a series because I couldn't possibly fit all that the ARP 2600 could do into one, two, or even three 10 minute movies. Apparently, every single aspect of the ARP 2600 requires a 10 minute movie to adequately describe. So, it's going to be quite a series. The ARP 2600 is probably one of the most famous and among the most popular analog synthesizers. It certainly um, fetches some of the highest prices for analog synthesizers, at least among the common ones. The ARP 2600 got its start in 1970, where it was first demonstrated at the AES convention. From that point forward, it became one of the mainstays of analog synthesizers throughout the years, uh, primarily because of its incredible functionality but also because of its great sound. The ARP 2600 is a rarity among analog synthesizers in that it is both modular and not modular. When uh, the ARP 2600 has no cables in it, it has what is called a normaled structure within it, which is, it is pre-wired to be a normal synthesizer along the same lines as non-modular synthesizers. However, it also has the patching capability once a patch is uh, made with cables, the internal wiring is defeated and the synthesizer is able to use modular function along with its normaled function. So throughout the videos where you hear me talking about normal this and normaling that, what I'm talking about is the internal wiring that has been built into the ARP 2600 to make it like a normal non-modular synthesizer. These videos that I've made are largely made on the fly without a script. Uh, my intent is to focus on a single function or module and demonstrate, at least to some degree, what that module is capable of doing. Um, often, because it is unscripted, um, it sounds unscripted, but I'm sure you will be patient with that um, for the benefit of hearing what the device can do. The one that you see behind me that is the focus of all of these videos features the 4012 filter, which was an infringement on the Moog patent. It has a transistor ladder filter that ARP designed basically imitating the Moog patented filter design. As a result, it has a great Moog filter essentially in it, which uh, lends a great deal to its sound. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to start this series out with a number of shots of various patches made on this synthesizer. I offer these shots as candy in order to hopefully entice you into watching the rest of the videos where each section is specifically described and portrayed in such a way that hopefully you will come to understand it. But before we get into the nuts and bolts, let's just take a look at some of the extremely cool sounds that the R2600 is capable of.
Thank <laughs> you. 